how's it going happy easter and all of that i hope you're all having a chance to eat a little bit of chocolate and you're you're staying sane with this um quarantine and um hope you're all doing okay um uh, we're on page 74 we're going to do part number 11. um i'm going to probably tackle two parts today that's probably all my brain can handle um this I looked at this for a few a minute or two and thought about it and you see this this is I would call that the front view the side view and this is a top-down section view um, this is one of those situations where it's a good idea to draw this entire view out and do something using a shared sketch which is what I'm going to do um, so we'll, we'll give it a go here In a few months, or maybe in a couple of months, I'm also thinking about using SolidWorks Cam. I did take um, or borrowed um, a large CNC machine home with me. It's lying on my um, uh, guest room bed. The thing is massive. Um, I probably should have brought a smaller one home, but but anyway, I'm going to be doing some Cam tutorials. Maybe some of you will be interested in that. So. Um, this is a good location for the origin we got i'm gonna write some of these numbers down so i can remember them 32 and then we have 48 and then 64 three circles let's just do that start off slow um 64 48 okay And what's this one here? 32. All right. So that's a, that's the origin. And then we come off. How am I going to remember all of this? But I'll try it. What's that? 150. So what I could do is I'm going to get myself a look. Let's do this. Let's get a midpoint line. Happy days. Make that 150. And we'll come up and over. And see what I am not gonna. Oh, I don't know, it looks something like that. Yeah, and then it comes up. And then I'm guessing it is a tangent, is it? There we go. Alright, um it's a tangent, yep. And then this comes down this comes down over and up no not like that oh let's do it okay um there we go and then this is a little bit different. We can add that in later. Um, no, let's draw it in. Um, all right, uh, let's let's. I know I'm half asleep here. We need the ten. We have the hundred and fifty. We have the ten. And how much does that come up? Ten, ten, loads of tens. All right. So this is ten. That's ten. This is ten. We move that down there. Um. I'm guessing are these lads yeah they're collinear from here to here collinear all right that goes all black we go back from here to here's 13 and I'm guessing that's 10 as well that no 13 and how, what height is that that's 50 from the bottom Okay, I'm going to get myself a center line and I'm going to mirror this across. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of these guys and let's just break. I don't like 
done. Let's just get one line. Okay. Now, um, okay. And I'm just going to draw on this bit. And that's 10. And that's my sketch. Okay, let me have a bite of this soup here. Mm. All right. Okay. We'll exit out of the sketch. It's not a bad looking sketch. And let's worry about this first one. Now this guy is 70. The big one. Um, so I'm going to do a mid plane extrude. Let's let's tr try that again. This we'll do this, this, and that. Okay, mid plane seventy, and I got that. Okay, what's next? We will get um, this shape, like the main, I don't know what the hell, the L shape and the reverse L shape. What is that? That goes 56, okay? So I go back to the sketch. I'm going to turn on the eyeball and I can see it again. We're, we're, we're going to use more parts of the sketch. I select it. I go to extrude. I'm going to select in there, select in there as well. Yeah, I'm going to make this mid plane 56. Okay, don't be at that. Now, um, okay. The next thing is we're going to get this rib, these walls, these supports. Now, what's, what size are they? 13. Okay. So from there to there. And we'll do a mid plane 13. Okay. I'm going to go okay. And now I have that. Um, now, the hole that goes through the middle of it is the 32. So I click the sketch, extrude a cut, through all. And we have that. Now it's time to turn off sketch one. We're done with it. And look what we have just from one sketch. So the, the, the shared sketch is a, is a nice little trick. Now what's next? Um, what do we do next? Let's get this, this, this piece in here. This eye beam or whatever the hell it is. Just this boss coming out. Now um, if I go back to here what what is the thickness of that it's 10 so I'll go back to sketch one and I'm just going to do this one and we'll make it mid plane 10 all right is it all is it turned off yes it is okay now let's do the two chamfers um, and they're 8 by 45 so I'll get the old chamfers where here 8 Like that. And then we'll get the fillets, the four fillets. And they're, what size are they? They're radius 12. Oh, we don't want a lofted cut. One, two, three, four. And we have that. Now, um, what's next? We have the four holes. Now, what are they? They're a diameter of 13, four places. So, um, I'm going to create a sketch on here. And we look normal too. 
Jeez, I forgot already. What are they? Um, diameter 13. I, I'm i touching the edge. I'm not clicking on anything to get the center point. And I'm going to put one in there. I'm just, I'm, high, I'm hovering over it. I'm going to make that 13, make both of these the same, equal, and we'll cut all the way through. No, nope. up to next. Now, if I highlight this right plane and I mirror that to the other side, it should work. We'll try it. Yeah. Now, is there anything else missing? Is that everything? Um, look, I'm not trying to, for someone like me, these are, are very, very easy parts. Um, the reason why I have this final project is to prepare you for the final, your, your CSWA. Um, you need lots and lots of practice with these parts, different parts, um, to get up to speed and to get, to get strong at SolarWorks. So, um, look, even though these parts are simple enough, um, they might be hard for some people, um, but you're just practicing parts to prepare you for that exam. Now, um, are we missing anything else? That's it. That's that is part number eleven, page seventy-four. You're going to right-click here, assign as a material, go to evaluate, mass properties, and that's your number. Okay, so that's that. We're, we're done with that. Um, I'm going to move on to the next one. Uh, in a few minutes. Okay, I hope all of you are doing okay and you're staying sane and um, Please God this will be over in the next few months. Take care guys. Bye